while since my last project. Uh, I've been mostly working on my software project uh, for 3D modeling uh, on a slightly different manner. You can check it out in creativecodebeetle.com. Now it's finally time to start a new, new mechanical project. Or actually, it's going to combine software mechanics and some electronics as well. Uh, something that I've uh, never done myself either before, so it's going to be quite interesting, I think. In this first episode, I'm going to introduce you the idea in the project, and, and in the following episodes, we will go through individual working phases. Then, I've been buying some material already for a month or so. So I, I pretty much have all the material that I need for it. So let's see what can be created out of them. Let's first throw in six wheels. Then we need something to power up the engine, so as I like the electric machines, obviously I'm going to use two electric motors. To get uh, power to the wheels, I'm going to use chain drive, so let's throw in some sprockets. This is going to be 24 volt system, so let's throw in two, 20, two 12 volt batteries. And for controlling the two motors, I'll throw in two Kelly controllers. And then obviously we need one contactor and a fuse. And then to make this thing turn, I need a central brain, which I'm going to be creating myself out of Arduino. Some custom software and some electronics. And this first version is going to be also remotely controlled, so I'm drawing in a RC receiver which will hook up to the Arduino and then I also have already a, a transmitter for the remote control so to make this happen there's still the frame missing which is going to be something like this and then obviously some axles and uh, other necessary modifications that I need for the for make, making it all work. So it's going to be this kind of a little, I call it a little little helper, six by six uh, utility vehicle with uh, two motors in it, 24 volt system chain drive for the wheels and some custom Arduino controller for turning the machine. 
In the next episode, I'll, I'll go through the work that is needed for the Arduino to control the kill controllers.